What's up, everyone? Welcome back. I'm Blake McLean, and I'm a music producer. So, Psy is back, and apparently he's working with Suga from BTS. I saw the teaser for this three days ago, and honestly, I have been so excited for today ever since. Because I knew they weren't going to release the teasers and then drop it next week, so... I barely slept last night. I'm just, I'm stoked. I always have loved Psy. Gangnam Style was like everyone's thing back when I was like going to college and all that stuff. Oh, I can't wait to jump in. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do it here in a second. I can't wait to see what Suga has done with this, how he's worked with him. It's going to be cool. Before we get started though, please follow me on Instagram. I've got tons of extra content coming to there. Just behind the scenes stuff. I've been going to concerts and doing reviews. I just did The Who on Wednesday, which was a fantastic show. That's going to be up on the channel sometime in the next few days, maybe early next week. We'll see. But um, again, there's a bunch of stuff over on the Patreon as well. You can check that out. There's a link down in the description. And I'm going to be doing an interview with the girl that opened for The Who. She was fantastic as well. It's been a great week. So I'm ready to jump in. Let's go ahead and do it. So this is Psy That That, produced and featuring Suga from BTS. Let's go. Look at him. He's back. That's why he's walking out. He feels it. He's back in the sun, back in the light. 20. Okay. 22. Side coming back. Yeah. Long time no see, huh? Ore ga no ni ji, huh? Ore dashi utto, ilgo, chichigo, bakto. Let's get look go. Oh, the camera changes are great. And it just adds to like the little bit of like comedic flair that he always has in his music like it's just a fun good time you know pandemic's over uh gotta keep me older uh that's good me older uh everybody say Can you feel it? Whoa, yeah. Whoa. This is interesting. I guarantee you here, because when you listen to the music, okay, so arrangement wise, one of the things that you always kind of do to continue to pull people and, you know, push them out, bring them back in, push them out, bring them back in, is you drop out the instruments and then you slowly bring them back in. Because they just zoomed in here, I've been working with some friends on film stuff and learning a bunch about this lately. Um, because they've zoomed in and it's just him and three people right now, guaranteed as they start adding in more depth to the music, more instruments, more stuff to the arrangement, more people come in with it. So everything lines up perfectly. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Yup. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Oh, yeah. And see what I mean? Now you have the whole, oh, nailed it. Nailed it. The eagle, the transition. If I was going to do it, that's exactly how I would do it. Brilliant. Come on, sugar. Yeah, nigga. That was actually a really cool vocal little hit before the beat comes back in because it almost doesn't feel like that's exactly how it's going to do it. It feels like the music and him are going to start. He's going to start on the one. But to have that little lead in was actually really kind of suave, you know? That's that, I like that. Like that. I don't care, I don't care, you did I like that? That's that, I like that. Like that. And again, back down to two people when everything falls out. Also, the old side is dead. And Sugar's holding him. Whoa, yeah. Whoa, whoa. Can you feel can you feel it? Oh, yeah. To 
TikTok is about to just lose its mind and just be covered in this dance. I, I'm calling it right now. It's going to be covered in this dance. Another thing I want to point out, I realize I have paused a lot, but there's just so much to talk about here. Like I almost feel like I should do this twice so I can listen even more in depth, but the call and response is brilliant. I mean, the song is extremely simple, you know, and it's meant for dancing. It's meant for fun. It's meant for that call and response moment. So one of the things I talk about on the channel all the time is in arranging music, in writing music, in songwriting, one of the most important things that you can add into a song is call and response. And the best way to think of it, BTS does it all the time with their stuff, is you sing something, the crowd sings something. You sing something, the crowd sings something. It works so well live, but it also just continues to pull your ear because of that contrast. Because the second vocal is always a different form than the first one. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I can't believe I'm saying this. If, if if this gets enough views, I'll have my friend Lindsay, that's the choreographer. First off, she's in Peru right now, but when she gets back, I'm having her react to this immediately. She's going to love it. I, I'm not a dancer. I will have her teach me how to do this. Oh, I feel like I'm digging myself a hole. I will have her teach me how to do this and I will post it. I'll do it. Comment below if you want that to happen, and I'll do it. I kind of want to. That was absolutely sick, though. Like, I love it. The comeback's fantastic. Sugar did an amazing job. The contrast between their flows is amazing. The dancing is unbelievable. The aesthetic is fantastic. This is going to be huge guaranteed this is going to be massive great comeback song for Sai. i'm stoked i'm proud can't wait to see where it goes and yeah thank you all so much for hanging around and um until next time i will catch you all later